Hi guys, this is Jackie with Peanut Butter Baby Designs. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, overview of my machine since my kids aren't home, they're doing basketball. So we'll start off with my embroidery and sewing machine. I only use it for embroidery. It is a single needle Husqvarna Ruby Royale. So this is what I have. And what it does is it's super easy to switch from embroidery to sewing. So what I do is you pull off the arm there, this arm right here, and there's a handle. You just pull it off, and then you push this button right up here, and it'll switch from embroidery to sewing. I can do some more tutorials on my embroidery machine uh, and all the stitches and all the functions and how I use it. Uh, it's been a really good machine for me so far. I've had it for four years and I've only actually had it serviced once. Not the smartest thing to do, but I live about two hours from where I can get it serviced. So I haven't been taking it in because I need it all the time. And I apologize for the mess at my desk. I have some orders that I need to do and I'm still organizing. The next one here is my... Serger, uh, it's a Juno by Janome 3434D. I got this as a hand-me-down from my mom, and so I'm assuming it's not available anymore. She's had it for as long as I can remember, and then she was gracious enough to give it to me when she upgraded, so I really appreciate it. It works really well. I like Janome. I'm sure she got it back when Hancock Fabrics was available. My next one is a my first machine that I ever bought myself. It's a Janome 3022. I know it's no longer available. I had this machine for probably 15 years, right? Or more. Uh, so I really enjoy it. It does what I need it to do, so I don't I haven't upgraded it at all. When it dies, I'll probably upgrade it, but Right now she's old reliable and I do all my sewing on this one. Uh, my last machine is a Juki 15 MCS 1500. I just got this one a little bit before Christmas. I really enjoy it a lot. I'm still learning about cover stitch. I'm new to knits as well and I'm really enjoying working with knits. But here is what I have for my cover stitch. And again, I will do more in-depth tutorials of my machines and how I use them. If you guys would like, just leave a comment. And here's how I have them all set up. I normally would rearrange it a little bit different, but my kids are still young and they like to come in and hang out with me. So I have kind of shoved them all on one table so that way they can come sit with me. So here is how I have it set up. Again, sorry for my mess. I'm working on some orders. So I have all three of those machines that I use regularly right next to each other. And then my embroidery machine in the corner. So that way when I'm on my serger, I can look over and make sure my embroidery machine is set up. And then this mess here is where the kids usually sit and do stuff, but they haven't been in lately in my sewing room because I've been sewing at night. So I've been using it as a catch-all at the moment. So leave your um, comments below. Any questions, I will put where I got this machine. Uh, this one you can order offline. I did it at Ken's Sewing Center offline. They had a deal. It was a refurbished one. But honestly, I don't even think it was used once. It looked brand new. Everything was in the package. Everything was sealed. So I think... It was brand new or barely used, so I thought it was completely worth it. I think I saved about $50, so I can put that link down below. Again, this one is too old to purchase again, but I do like Chinomi. Same with the embroidery or the serger. It is too old to probably purchase. And then my Ruby, I believe you can uh, still purchase it, but it is one of their older machines. And they do have a few newer ones. But again, that's a Husqvarna Viking. And I bought that at a dealer. So you'd have to go to a dealer in order to purchase this one. 
Thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a good night and subscribe. Thanks again.